you so much, everyone. Let's get talking. Senator Ifa Uba is representing Anambra South Central District in the National Assembly. And today, he's exited the Young Progressive Party, YPP, and moved to the All Progressive Congress, APC. Senator, Senate President uh, Gozua Pabio, during plenary today, read a letter which said that Senator Obama's defection was due to irreconcilable differences in the YPP. Senator Oba, however, did not explain the irreconcilable differences. The letter further explained that Oba's decision is in the interest of his constituents. Oba is the sole, he was now the sole uh, member of the YPP in the 10th Senate before his defection to the APC. Now, Senator Ifanyuba joins us live here in our Abuja City. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. Thank you. I'm seeing you for the very first time in a long time. Uh -huh. Are you keeping fit, I see. Well, <laughs> what's God. the secret? God. Gym? Gym or diet? God, God Almighty. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank us tonight. Give us an understanding. So you are no longer a YPP senator. You are now an APC senator. Why did you leave YPP? Well, uh, every politician follows the interests of his constituency and his people. So for me, I think it's time my people want me to join the center party. And that is the reason why I, it wasn't an easy decision because um, I must appreciate that um, when I needed help most politically, a YPP came to my rescue and I owe it to YPP and um, they, have, they were there with me. But now I have also been able to groom a lot of people in YPP and um, I think it's time now to join the center party so that I can bring dividend of uh, democracy and the renewed hope to my constituency. They, you used that platform in the ninth assembly yes. and the tenth assembly. Yes, nobody has Twice ever. No, you no, were lucky. Nobody has done that in Nigeria. As I stood with the party throughout my tenure in the ninth senate, and now I am leaving. I came also. I contested with the party uh, for the governorship. I couldn't make it, and I contested with the party again on the ninth senate. I made it, and I consulted widely, telling everybody from my constituency, the party from my ward to the national um, officers that I have to leave so that I can uh, look at um, giving my constituency the benefit of a uh, renewed hope. Is it true what they say that back in Inewi, that is your, your base? Yes. That if, no matter what party if I buy uses, is going to win Senate. Exactly. So you think that what, with YPP or not, you can win? And that's why I have, you don't I have won election with Labour Party before, local government election. Uh, in the whole of Anambra State, I was the only one that used Labour Party to win election three times in the Nehru North. And then at the same time, I have done that with other political parties. I have used Nehru to deliver APGA for the first time in about 12 years. APGA has never won Nehru North. I was the very first, first person to deliver APGA in Nehru North. So Nehru North is my, my base. So, I mean... You said your people wanted you to join the APC. Yes. Was this equivocal? Was, did they sign it? Did you have? <laughs> how did they tell you to join? For someone winning election back to back, mm -hmm. you know that you must be close to your people and you must always consult widely with your people. So for me to join APC, I have done my consultation and then I listened to the voice of my people. Um, looking at APC today, you will discover that um, the president has been fair super fair to the, the Southeast, irrespective of our vote during the election. Giving us um, the Minister of Works is something that um, wouldn't have been possible in the past. The Minister of Works from Uma, uh, uh, from Dave Uma, he, Yes. And other appointment that is coming and so many other good things that he wants to do for the, our people. So it is very important for us now to take that decision to move into the center party so that we will not be left behind. So it's a case of if you can't beat them, you join them. Is that, is that a case for you? It is not about It's a case of taking a proper decision that will help to alleviate the price of your people. So when you say that your people... Because if you say if you can't beat them, who, are, who, who, who is going in? I am taking a decision. So yeah, you, you, you seem like a lone ranger. And, and the, single, the only you, member of you, the YPP you will be surprised, in the you will be, you will be surprised to know that it is an all-inclusive... 
the entire Southeast is joining where I am going because they know who I am. It's not a normal thing. Just watch and see what's going to be in the next few, in the next few weeks. So there are more senators following you into... Not ABC. only senators, stakeholders, people that has held one of the biggest offices in Nigeria, party people from different party, top politicians. We, we, the numbers are so much. So, and I'm happy and I'm lucky. So you are the one leading the, the cause well, of what Well, as, it, as it stands the... today, I am not the one. It was a collective decision, but I am leading the part of that. I have been the one that, um, I'm the only one today that came to the party, and then I came with each and every one of us. But we are going to do a normal declaration. So just to watch and see, uh, we are going to have a normal declaration soon. So isn't this also uh, sort of... Uh, Interesting, is it? Uh, call it that, tsunami. Uh, call it tsunami. No, it's not tsunami. You call just it tsunami one person. declaration. No, no, you person. are just one person. But a senator is not easy. Yeah, you are a just... A senator. That's yes, only a, one ABC have no elected Senate. officer in Anambra, entire Anambra state. So I am the one that has come in as the senator from the state. So now APC have a senator in Anambra state. Who is your leader in Anambra state in the APC now? Well, in, I need to go back to the party to know who is their leader, but at least uh, there was some declaration that was made today. Okay, so let me ask you, um, you, you, you spoke about um, uh, your people wanting you to come, and I look at it um, critically, if you analyze the politics of a number of states, uh, look at the presidential election. It was an all-out uh, massive support for Peter Obi in that election. So you look at it, that... Uh, APC seems to be very uh, unpopular considering the figures and the numbers that APC got out of the presidential election in 2023. And you took, it looked like a risk and you decided to take the risk, isn't it? Well, it is the thing that is the best thing that will come to my constituency and my people. Uh, during that election, I had my position, I contested for um, YPP, I contested under the part, platform of YPP. We also have a Labour Party candidate in that election that came third in my election. So it is not a matter of um, uh, people in politics. It's a matter of those who wants to contest where I am contesting. And that is um, the position um, I have found myself uh, and I'm enjoying in my constituency. So in the state. So now, the question I'm asking is the popularity of your party. Party. If your party looks by the numbers and the figures coming out of that your state, it looks like your party is unpopular. That, that is the question. My current, my current party. You are talking about I'm my talking current, about the APC. APC. It's not. You can't say it. You remember the last uh, gubernatorial election? APC came third. You know, so you can't call a party that came third unpopular party. It's just that uh, we but have not. Been, election, has, it, we have not been able to. The presidential election, the figures shows that your your party yes, is popular. Yes, yes, we voted. Uh, my people voted with emotions and sentiment, and there was no much push. You know, politics is about you know fighting. Politics is about talking to people. Politics is about giving the people what they want, telling them what they want. So I don't think APC have the right machinery during the presidential election, but mm -hmm. it's not going to be the same again. Why well, a lot of people in a number of states perceive? APC as a party of the North and a party, at least in, in governorship election, at least two governorship election, those are the kind of sentiment that came out. That, that's what I told you. It depends on the machinery that you use in campaigning. You don't bring in uh, politicians that are based in Abuja always and don't have uh, rapport with the constituents. So now we are going to have a total different uh, dynamics of politics. We are all coming in. In fact, most of the political gladiators are joining mm -hmm. me you know, to, 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 to join the main party of Nigeria today. And I think uh, uh, by the grace of God, um, there will be, you will see the difference. Uh, Nigerians will also see the difference. YPP says your defection is unfortunate. <laughs> well, I owe uh, and I respect uh, my former party, YPP. They gave me the opportunity to get to where I am today. And that is why I, I keep my issues with them, you know, very confidential to my heart. And I'll continue to respect, their, uh, respect them because they also respect my wish. Uh, but I don't think my, party, my former party will go against me or, go or, or get me into a battle of uh, um, um, uh, boxing ring or that kind of thing. Yeah, because yeah. you said irreconcilable differences. Yes, there's what is a lot this of irreconcilable differences. <laughs> well, the irreconcilable differences must also be it must be contained within the confines of uh, uh, our preview. Our you know it's to, it's close to my heart. So um, 
I don't think it's something that I need to discuss who in say public. that, look, you're just giving that excuse to just get yourself out. Well, if you get yourself out, remember that this is a party that sponsored me. And uh, it's not easy for one, uh, the highest ranking member of a political party, to leave the party. I understand the, 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 um, the emotions. So I don't want to injure that emotion by making any statement that will not work very well. But I consulted widely. I am not the kind of person that goes into um, a, a take a decision, you know, uh, without co uh, proper consultation. In the statement signed by Ebeola, Wiley Martins, and this is what the YPP is, their reservation. They said, we are aware of the legal implications of your actions and ready to explore all available actions within the ambit of the law after the National Working Community would have met to decide on the way forward. Are you worried about the possibility of a legal tussle with the YPP with your decision today? I am not worried because uh, YPP is a party I have uh, joined and I have enjoyed and we, um, I moved on without having issues with my party and I consulted widely. Uh, I'm, I'm here to tell you, tell Nigerians, you know, that uh, there is no issue, but there is a irreconcilable difference means that I can take a position and then I can tell my party to look at my position, why I'm taking a position and then um, it is where I want to move. Did you discuss with them? Well, I said I consulted widely, and I think I... Uh, you could have consulted widely in the APC. <laughs> Did you leave them out of the conversation? Because let's, let's the wait, YPP let's statement wait, looks wait, like a let's, bitter, let's bitter wait, reaction is, to your action. No, no, no. Let's wait till the NWC of my former party. I don't like to preempt issues, but I think I tell you that I, I won't have problem. It's a party. It's like a family. Uh, coming from young progressive to all progressive, it's STEM progressive. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they call it uh, uh, progressive movement. No, 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 that's not it. <laughs> in politics, uh, in the local parlance, they say, okay, it is uh, where Bele face in the local parlance that uh, wherever the, the sweetness is, that is what. If, is it that was, your case? If, if it was, I wouldn't have been with the party throughout the ninth Senate for over five years now. So those who say that if I knew, but this is personal, this is your, for your personal yeah. gain, what do you say to why, them? Why, why didn't I take it five years ago if it is where Belief well, is? Why you that's why, it that's now? why I, I don't like the word dump. I don't want the word. I moved. You know, it's a movement. You know, uh, we are going into APC because we think APC today will support the developmental trajectories of my people. They will support the developmental, you know, desire of my people. You know, and then also, it is very important for us to be where the, where the decisions have been taken. And also my faith in uh, the president of the country, because I believe that um, um, he has done so well. Look, go to, go to the entire Southeast and ask any, my people are more in the business domain, go and ask any wealthy Igbo man today who, has, who can claim that he has not derived or has not benefited from the platform that uh, our president sat in Lagos. So in the last 15 years, go and check any wealthy Igbo man uh, has benefited immensely from the political structure that the president has laid in Lagos State. So why wouldn't we believe that he will do a better thing for us? So it's a case of rob my back, I rob your back. Well, what? About, this is a political <laughs> game for you. Well, it's, it's, not, it's a decision. It's, it's, it's a not decision. really about the people. It's, it's, about, it is, it's about the political game. It is a decision that will favor my people. That is why I am in politics. If it's not favoring my people, I won't be in politics. So I am here to see the best for my people. And my people know that I am here for them. And that is why you will not have, you, there won't be a problem. So, and I'd like to ask you, on the moral level, you are saying that you have consulted and you may not have problem. But morality and law, they are two separate things. Legally speaking, do you know the implication of what you did today? Do I look like somebody that does not understand the legal implication of issues? You tell us, Senator. Do I look like and somebody who, is already, who has read law that does not understand the legal implication and have been with a party for five years, more than five years now, and has groomed the party from one sole candidate of a political party to over 14 candidates today presently elected members over 14 elected members of the party nationwide both houses of assembly in my constituency i have three houses of assembly my, my my a member of my party is currently the minority leader of anambra state house of assembly 
and I have a, I have a, we have a House of Representatives, and we have seen I'm a, I'm a senator, and we have a House of Representatives in other states, House of Assemblies in other states. If if we have done this, it means that I have nurtured the party to where it is today. From one, you to nurtured over 14. The, this is a party. That's Did because you I'm the party, party leader. I am the party leader. You are the highest ranking. I, I was the party leader of YPP. End quote. So you you've left the party like an orphan. No, no. We, you we left are, the party no, no, the to party, suffer in the party rain. Is, if you say you nurtured the party, you left the party that you nurtured. The party is well structured, and by the grace of God, they will take. They will continue from where I stopped. For me, I have moved to the to APC. Why is a case of philosophy here? Political philosophy. Where did you leave that? <laughs> Political philosophy is thinking about my people. Mm. I have grown a party that the party can stand on its own. While I think about those who has given me the opportunity to serve and then bring back dividends of democracy to them. Senator, let's talk about your people uh, of uh, Anambra State. Yes, they are the ones you are representing. Yes. What is, it, is in it for the people of Anambra State in your movement to the APC? Well, infrastructurally, we are, we are, we are two aback. You know, go and look at the roads in my constituency. And then uh, we don't have um, someone who can uh, plead for, for us, you know. And so some of the social, uh, social uh, gestures that, that comes in from the center party, when they get to my state, we don't normally get some of these things. And so many other things that I, I, I don't think I would like to discuss uh, in this platform. But for me, um, my people need uh, to have a federal presence, and this is the right time for us to do it. When you talk about federal presence, what exactly do you think that you can inspire by this your movement? What, what in, in, in clear terms, what do you tell your people who are watching now? Okay. Some of those people who may not understand your political reason of this movement. What are you bringing to them? What is well, it for them? Well, it's not, I don't think it's uh, fair for a big party like APC not to have a single elected officer in the entire state, in one state, in the whole country. So if you look at that, and then you have me today as the only elected, not only elected, a senator representing Anambra State uh, in the APC caucus, in the, on the, in the APC party, then you will be able to appreciate the fact that uh, we made the right decision, if, um, um, if not. You know, and then Looking at also the geopolitical uh, structure of my, uh, my zone, uh, we have five states. And five, these five states have four different political parties. Uh, it is time for us to move into the center party. And that is why I will want to get in and then see how I can help APC to... Um, we have two APC states currently, uh, one Labour state, one Afghan state. You know, so out of the five um, states that we have, and uh, one PDP state. So my desire is to see um, all these five states of the country joining the center party so that we can be able to have serious voice and then also be at the center where decisions are being made. Does it mean that if you're not in the, I see that uh, uh, the national chairman at the NWC of the APC receiving you earlier today, first and foremost, what was that reception about? How, how, how did they receive you? What promises did APC give to you when they received you? Well, APC received the senator of the Federal Republic, the only senator from Anambra State, uh, coming into APC. I don't think it's something that needs uh, a very low sound to <laughs> get one involved. I think uh, uh, they, I, I appreciate the gesture that um, the way that they received me today. It's not a normal way that uh, people were being received in the past. And I'd like to extract this from you, that in truth, this is about the people of Anambra State. What promise, what assurance can you give them that this is not personal, this is not personal, this is not about Ifa Yuba, this is about the Anambra people. Can you give them that assurance tonight? Well, Sheo, I have done my consultation. I have done my consultation from my, the leadership of my party, from my word to the leadership of my party, from the leadership of the Senate to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I have done my consultation. I have also indicated and explained the position of my people. And I have assurance. And I believe that I won't be disappointed. So you've, you've not spoken about what is in it. Because the essence of this conversation 
is about if I not about if I about but the implication of your defection for your people. For my people. I told you. What that are I'm, you bringing to them? Can you give I us an example? Them, I am bringing of the one presence thing of the you, federal. I am bringing the presence of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under the leading political party of Nigeria. And I am sure that I will not be disappointed because I have firm, um, um, firm um, conviction from the president of the country to the party, to the sprint of the Senate, to my party, my former party, and my constituency. That is what I said earlier on. And then uh, if I have not done my consultations, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have taken this position. Insecurity, perhaps, you, are, you have had uh, a bitter share of that, uh, of insecurity. For example, are you getting assurances that insecurity will be dealt with in your region? Well, we spoke on many, many issues, not only insecurity. We discussed insecurity was one of the focus, infrastructure, you know, um, uh, federal presence. But most important, even looking at our... Um, um, the stability of Southeast, you know, and my state, um, detained, uh, our detained uh, brother, um, Nandi Kalo. So a lot of things are on, ta on the table. So let's all see how we will, uh, where, we are, where we'll get to, and then see how... You we have the view to... that Ifa Yuba should be released? Nandi Kalo. I mean, Nandi Kalo, apologies. Please. Definitely, definitely, I am of the firm belief that uh, if we can uh, consult, uh, with the consultation we have had, um, um, the government will start looking into that direction, even though it's something that the government cannot um, say uh, so based, based, on, based on the issues in court, government cannot um, say that they can um, take a unilateral position. But um, I believe by the time we we'll join the forces, uh, come into the center speed, we'll make appeals. Um, it's part is of, it, it's is part it part of, of what you are bringing to the it table? It is part of the issues on the table because we want tranquility, we want stability in the southeast. So everybody that uh, wants peace in the Southeast should help to join or help to pray for me and then see that uh, my move will bring um, value to the Southeast and bring tranquility and uh, peace so that people will start going back to the Southeast. People are no more going to the Southeast. Uh, Mondays have been observed as a seat at home. So, so many things um, are involved. Uh, there are not things I can say publicly, but I am sure that I won't be disappointed. I make my cases, my case very straight, my issues, the demand of my people very straight to the highest uh, office of this country, and I'm sure that I will not be disappointed. And then some of those who are close to you see, say that you have your eyes of, uh, on the governorship seat in Anambra State. You still want to be governor of Anambra State? Well, if my people want me to contest, why wouldn't I contest? That's I have contested. I've, that you politicians I've, I've, I've contested in 2013. It's not about in contesting. 2021. You still have the ambition of wanting to be governor of an I, I am. I am for my people. Wherever they want me, I will be there. Once my family and my constituencies are um, ask me to move, I move. Are you working? If with, I'm still in if I'm still in politics. Are you Are you in good rapport with Governor Soludo? He's my governor, and I, um, for me, for today. Is, my is there a handshake? Do you guys work together? <laughs> well, he has, uh, he, has, he has supported me, and then I have also supported the government of Anambra State. I don't think we have uh, issues, but politics, you don't come into political contest. Every political party will have a representative, a candidate. So it's all, about, it's all about doing what the people want. Once you are doing what the people want, you go into election, then you will receive your report card from the people. For me, I have no issue. Every political party will have a candidate. Mm -hmm. For today, now I'm in APC. Mm -hmm. If APC decides to give me a ticket and my people want me to contest, I don't know, there won't be no stopping. And, I found out just and I have never failed the election. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you, you, you've lost elections. You've, got, you've lost governorship <laughs> elections in that state. I've never failed. <laughs> On a final note, and in 30 mm -hmm. seconds, what is your view about IPOB and the agitation? I have always said it, that the agitation of IPOB was about how our people were treated. But you can see that there's a lot of changes now. So no, no Igbo man will come and tell us that our people are not in the center spread with our own son being the minister of works in this country. And so many other appointments that um, the president has graciously given to our people. So but some of them will be aggrieved that Peter Obi did not win the election. It's your son, isn't it? I am not a member of a Labour Party. I am a member of YPP. <laughs> oh, you are talking about the Igbo people now, so and I'm asking you that uh, your brother uh, uh, Peter Obi did not win election. Does that bring some kind of uh, 
uh, misgivings within the within the well Iran. people have sentiment and emotion I don't think in politics you follow you follow the fact um, election has been uh, done INEC declared a winner of that election mm. confirmed by the Court of Appeal so there's still a Supreme Court uh, decision on that election for me um, those two incidents and the election proper the Court of Appeal position is where what I'm looking at I'm not driven by emotion and right. sentiment Senator Ufai, Patrick Kuba, thank you so much indeed for your time tonight, and I appreciate it. I wish you the very best in the coming days, and hopefully that the real dividend will go to the people of the senatorial district with you. It has opinion. always been, and by thank the grace of God, they will not be disappointed. Thank you. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you.